sat in the middle of a park for quite a few hours just sitting there, basically waiting on her, her owners probably to come back. Mm. And they never did, so we uh, said that the biggest thing is sure. her being calm around other dogs. And What's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's canine educator. Welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. You guys, you heard that clear. You heard that right, you heard that correct. Unfortunately, this dog was left at a park abandoned, alone, super sad. But don't worry guys, in this video, there is for sure a happy ending. In this video guys, we do an entire behavior modification. We go through exactly why reactivity happens on the leash, why this particular dog is reactive, as well as the exercises, the tools, the training, everything that you need to say, how your breathing needs to be, everything. This is one of my favorite videos that we've done from the ground up fundamentals of how to overcome and modify leash reactivity and build confidence in a dog. I'm very excited about this video. If you guys haven't yet, do me a favor, like this video. Of course, smash that subscribe button. We put videos out like this every single week. Don't forget, as always, guys, we're doing a giveaway. We're gonna be giving away some free No Bad Dog hats, so make sure you watch the whole thing. I'm gonna stop talking, and I want you guys to really, really pay attention to this video for all the questions and all the people who are dealing with leash reactivity and their dogs reactive on the leash. This video is for you. Let's go. Let me get out one of my fake dogs really quick. He's really friendly and really quiet, but everybody reacts to him for some reason. Okay. We'll probably start off with the plastic pinch collar. I like using the plastic pinch on dogs with this type of uh, coat, so there's no double coat. There's not an insulator and a guard hair, it's just the guard hair. So I wanna start off with our training leash, which is a four foot biothane, no bad dog engraved leash here. A lot going on guys. Obviously the external barking and reactivity is what you guys are mainly focused on, but what I wanna do is I not only wanna shut down that behavior, discourage that behavior, I wanna teach her to get over that behavior. I actually wanna modify it so Right now, there's, there's an equation, right? So the equation right now is dog, other dog, reaction. I wanna change that to dog, dog, no reaction. So I'm gonna start off with some basic leash pressure and create a template for you guys to be able to be sustainably successful for her, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back and forth. So I call this a calibration or a tune-up. And when you were handling her, she was, Bang, bang, bang. So I, I want like, when I turn, I want her to go, oh, we're turning, okay, we're, we're good. So we're working together. In the beginning, it's just gonna be calm. And then it's gonna turn into a heel. Roxy, come. Good, so see that little pop there, guys? So what that does is it, I'm disrupting the build. So much like a pot, a pot of water simmering before it boils, she sees this dog and I can hear her and I can physically see her start to, just a little bit. So when I turn, I'm doing two things. I'm teaching her directional change on the leash with leash pressure, but I'm also discouraging the build. So I'm doing two things at once. So she's learning leash pressure, but she's also breaking that fill. Okay? Roxy, come. Good, come, good job, come. Good, come, yes, good job, come. Yeah, when there's no other animals, it's right. It's fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a world that would be. <laughs> yeah, and that's what everyone talks about. Everyone talks about like that that rainbows and butterflies world of that 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 doesn't really. We don't live in that world. Yeah, we don't live in. The, I wish we did, man. No problems, no stress. Living on an island in Jamaica with Bob Marley all day. That would be sweet. Yeah, that world doesn't exist, unfortunately. So. So we have to work through these things to say, hey, here's a couple things we're gonna implement to make this more successful. And as you can tell when she's working, all she wants to do is please, which is like most dogs, so it's great. So I'm gonna keep doing this directional change, but now I'm gonna tighten it up to the heel. So the heel, left side, loose leash. So what we're doing here, guys, is micro macro. So the micro is that she's learning heel. Macro is is when we bring another dog out, she, I'm, gonna act, I'm gonna ask her to heel and she's gonna know what to do where I don't wanna just correct her, hey, stop barking, hey, stop barking. I wanna say, hey, you're supposed to be healing and not barking. Oh, okay. So it makes it fair for her and it makes her digest that information and actually resolve and modify the behavior. When you ask a dog to heal, it's much like a manual transmission. You're just gonna put it right into gear and it's not gonna go out of gear until you then give them that release, which will be break. So, Roxy, heal.
Good heel. Sit. Yes. Good sit. Good. Okay, break. One thing I want to do is just get out a little bit of food and I want to start working on the leave it command. We have a little bit of yummy, yummy food here. Leave it. Leave it. Yes. Good, leave it. Yes. Good, leave it. Leave it. So this is important. You see how I'm pairing my leave it with my correction? So when we talk about, so could I do this without this collar? Absolutely. Could I do it with the harness? Probably. But the, but the, the training aspect is I'm training her and I'm teaching you that the reality is, is I'll need this training collar when the rubber meets the road. When I get dogs running through here later on and she's not choking herself out and dragging you down the, the aisle there again. All right, you guys, it's giveaway time. It's your chance to win some free No Bad Dog hats. All you guys have to do in the comments below is leave your dog's name letter by letter by letter. I will pick three people in 24 hours. Ready, set, go. Leave it. Yes, good leave. Well done. She's so smart. What a lovely girl. Very lovely. I don't know how anybody would leave you in the park. I would never leave you in the park. Okay. And so the collar is just giving me that little extra, hey, hey, hey. So it's enforcing my verbal. So it's conditioning. We grab the keys, the dog goes, we're going somewhere. Um, put the bowl down, we're eating. Say walk, we're walking, whatever. It's the same end of the spectrum. I'm just conditioning with some sort of positive punishment to say, when I say leave it, if there's no compliance and you don't back out and recluse from what you're doing, there's gonna be a follow-up. So that's what she's learned here. Leave it, correction, leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Before when you had her out with the other dog, it was just chaos. We, we don't know what to do. We know it's not good, we don't love it. I know she doesn't love it, what do we do? So now we have the heel, we have the leave it, and the basic leash pressure to teach her that when another dog comes out, she's gonna, you know, we're gonna go through that process. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Good. We're gonna take out the other dog that we're reactive to, and we're gonna apply our leash pressure. Heel. Good, now stop right there for a second. Heel. Good. Heel. Yes, good heel. Again, this is the big picture. Come out. Heel. Yes, good heel. Good. So one thing you're, go back the other way. Yeah. One thing you're missing, come back towards me. Just one, it's okay. What do you, what do you think? Nope, she's doing good. It's, a tr it's kind of a trick question. It's kind of a trick question. I don't think you're gonna get it. But you're, you're not rewarding her enough. So before when we brought that dog out, it was, Chaos. Yep. So now that she's reward that. Okay. Hey, good heel. Like literally, uh -huh. just let her know. It's a lot of um, craftsmanship. And as soon as she finally starts to go, this, yes. Uh -huh. So when another dog comes out and she just does this instead of <laughs> before, yep. good heel. Okay. And just make it as lovely as possible. And that's part of operant conditioning. Yay, good job. Yep. But hey, when you react and be a lunatic, not a good job. <laughs> not a good job. So, oh, that's my baby girl. Oh, that's a baby girl. Oh, that's a baby girl. Heel. Heel. Just a quick pop. Yep, exactly. Don't pull her, pop her. Yeah. Ooh, this is exciting stuff. <laughs> I love it. All right, now I'm gonna replace you. So it's a great opportunity. When you have a dog on any correction tool, collar, uh, plastic pinch, prong collar, whatever, if the dog, is here and it's fully extended, this doesn't do anything. So when she goes forward and I'm here, this doesn't do anything. So people put the prong on like this, they're like, this thing doesn't freaking work. Well, no duh, you're not using it right. So when you're here and you're trying to do stuff, your actual correction needs to come down and pop up to get her, all you're doing is you're disrupting getting her attention. So you have to be careful on your leverage. So if she was here and I'm trying to correct her for reacting, 
I'd have to come out and then back in, out. So don't go here and then pull because that doesn't do you anything. So Roxy, heel. Good heel. Now stop, put her in a sit. Good sit. Good sit. Good sit. Now hold that. Nice and relaxed. Breathe. Remember to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, sit. Good sit. Good job, baby girl. Very good. So now, big difference, okay. right? Big difference. But watching her behavior, she now has the opportunity to watch this dog and become, oh, maybe I. What's, what was it? What's, not, what, what's the big deal here? So, so as we continue this, because you can look at her face, she's not like waiting for this dog to mess up. Mm -hmm. She's not prey watching this dog. <laughs> so in the beginning when I said, I want to modify her perception of other dogs on the leash, one turns into two, turns into three, and then four, and then, hey, it's not so much of a big deal, and hey, now it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So see how she's, She's breathing calmly. She's looking at me like, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. That tells me that this dog, so I want to watch her behavior as Frankie moves. So Kyle, can you just go back and forth? Yep. Yep. That's where you would pay. Mm -hmm. Good sit. I love her body language right now looks really good. She must like this this dog off the bat. She's already turn. Good heel. Good heel. Heel. Well good. done. Good well done. That was wonderful. This is a whole new dog. <laughs> and when I say like modify, like that was modified. She went from Progressional, right? Then this dog came out and she's just wagging her tail. She's like, I don't feel like I want to react anymore. It's wonderful. It's very, very good. Good girl. Okay, heal her again. So that you didn't see, but there was another dog that just came in too. <laughs> she's like, she's... <laughs> good job. You did good. You did good. Hey, good job. 